So it's currently Sunday and it's the 11th of July and I am currently in my car. Just like that, as it happened, Sydney now in lockdown for over two weeks as New South Wales records new local cases. Based on the health advice, which is our key indicator, made the difficult decision to announce the extension of the lockdown and the existing restrictions in the regions for one week further until Friday midnight, the 16th of July. Now, the reason for this is, as uh, we've been saying, this Delta strain is a game changer. It's extremely transmissible. Guys, Sydney lockdown has now been extended for another week. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we just have to be well and be safe for now. I can't argue enough, but it's better to be safe than sorry later. So we're trying to protect everyone in the community and we're trying to be the best we can as a citizen of the country. So, yeah. And I think we know that the virus is spreading here in Sydney and we wanted to contain it and I think the, um, the state minister is actually very very good in protecting the people itself here in Sydney so we do understand that. Lockdown, lockdown, what to do, watch a movie, watch a Netflix, watch what, what's um, what I'm gonna eat tonight, I have an idea. So we are currently locked down here in Sydney, I guess, for now, three weeks now. And we're all staying from home with the new restrictions going on that only one person could travel and buy your groceries. And there's no browsing in the aisle for you. So make sure we definitely have the list of the things that we need to buy in a grocery shop. And it's pretty much crazy now because the Delta variant is quite really spreading here in Sydney. And currently here in lockdown in Sydney and so can you tell me exactly what are your self-care technique and tips that maybe that I could you know do it on my day-to-day -day basis that I can you know incorporate it to myself you know, we all we are all different people so self-care is very individual that's good yeah. do you think do, do you think mental health is really important nowadays of course it's all, it's actually not only nowadays, it's always been important. I think the difference is that we all talk about it. That's good, yeah. I know okay. it's been, it's been now, it's, it's, everyone has been now vocal with mental health awareness. And I, I totally understand. Before I was thinking, what the hell is mental health? That like no one is talking about it. And then suddenly things has changed. It flipped the world that everyone is talking about it. And everyone is so aware. We got so much, we're lucky that we get so much help here if we need to. Of course, you know, before, if you just added the word mental health, we are talking about being crazy. And people yeah. stop talking. They don't want to talk about it because they don't want to feel, you know, to, to project that they are, you know, they are struggling. Mm. But because everybody is talking about it, you're breaking the stigma. Yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, the stigma, you know, yeah. once you talk once it, be, once, once it becomes a common topic mm. in the conversation, and that's where I'm actually going to, you know, get a lot of um, improvements in terms of it. Yep. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Thank you for the call. And oh my goodness, we've been in a lockdown for ages now. It feels forever, right? I know, but you know, we just have to hang in there. Hope for the best. Exactly. All right. Okay.
So today is 11th of July, which is Sunday, and I am vlogging because it's weekend. So we're going to Kohl's, I mean to buy my grocery today because I don't have food for the whole week. I am going to get the food that I need for the whole week because since we are still in a lockdown, we can't do anything much. So it will be really quick, probably I will be there 30 minutes, 30 minutes maximum, that would do. Buy all the things that I need and that's it, stay home and yeah, stay safe. to change, tiny is mighty. Many of us believe something is wrong with us when our results fall short of explanation. We often blame ourselves for failures and push to do better. However, we are not always the problem. Our approach to change is, it is a design flaw, not a personal flaw. Popular thinking about habit formation and change feeds into our impulse to set unrealistic expectations. As opposed to these popular opinions, building habits and creating positive change can be easy with the right approach. In order to successfully form habits and command a change, you need to do three things. Stop judging yourself. Take your aspirations and break them down into tiny behaviors. Embrace mistakes as discoveries and use them to move forward. The most trying to create vlogs but the vlog that I wanted to do today is just tiny tiny things and I want to show you exactly how I edit my vlog if I have free time and definitely it's quite really very easy you know and if you want to vlog like me it's easier so I always start by you know planning what I wanted to talk or what I wanted to do on this day and creating contents on YouTube is a lot of things that's popping out into YouTube nowadays and it's hard to be in a situation that you want to create contents that is actually the same thing as what the others are doing of course you can also probably copy them but not the whole thing I mean in terms of maybe the quality you wanted to portray to your audience but definitely vlogging for me is my pastime um, mental health awareness nowadays because it gives me the platform to speak to myself and speak to the camera and do whatever I want and do editing on my free time and listen to music and definitely something to look forward to and the second thing that I also like to do is definitely sort out music that inspires me on a day-to-day -day basis. I look at the process of creating my videos and creating 
my editing process very easily when there is music. So I try to look for the music first and which sort of a music that inspires me on a day-to-day -day basis. Definitely one factor of it is music creations in where you can actually connect to the music and invite your emotions into the process. And by doing that, you get a chance to really um, include yourself and immerse yourself to the quality of contents you're trying to portray. It does makes a lot of big difference in creating your contents. And with my vlog, I like to infuse emotions in it because it's like filmmaking, right? So you create something out of out of something that invites the audience to really watch your contents and have the idea and the feeling of what is really gonna happen or what is really in there in this vlog that separates from the rest. So I like to infuse emotions. Emotions is the best way you can actually attract your audience to really listen and watch your contents. Thank you.